Hello my gorgeous friends of Webflow, I'm Francesco and if you don't know who am I, well in this channel we do Webflow things and we make them simple and accessible to everybody from time to time by using a whiteboard. But not this time, because this time we'll start straight away from Webflow and we will talk about the conflicted relationship between sticky positioning and the overflow property, which is the cause of a very common mistake between not only Webflow beginners. So you won't spend an hour of your time in tears like I did in the past wondering why your sticky layout suddenly broke and okay probably i'm exaggerating a bit i didn't cry but i wasted a lot of time trying to figure out what was wrong and yeah okay so stop talking as usual and let's take a look at the designer i recreated this layout starting from the memberships page of the webflow website and webflow is a treasure trove among other things of really really cool sticky sections and this is just one of them if we take a look here inside the navigator, we can see that the sticky feature sticky element is the one that is fancy that sticky inside our section. But what happens if we set the overflow property of the parent element, so of the sticky features visuals element to hidden? Well, we start scrolling and it doesn't stick at all. And it doesn't have to be the direct parent. It could be any ancestor of the sticky element. It could be the sticky section content dropper. We set the overflow property to hidden, start scrolling, it doesn't work. Or it could even be the body element, but never, never, ever set the overflow property of the body element to hidden if you don't want to see weird behaviors inside your Webflow project. We start scrolling, it doesn't work. And why is it happening? Well, it's just how CSS works behind the scenes so we we have to live with it but um, what happens is if we set the overflow property to hidden on the sticky element itself well set the overflow property to hidden start scrolling and it just works fine so it's okay if you want to add i don't know a draggable slider or a marquee to your sticky element and therefore you need to set the overflow property to hidden uh, on the sticky element itself. So please always bear this in mind if you don't want to run into sticky situations. Thanks so much everybody for watching this video and if you liked it feel free to hit the like button to subscribe to my channel and share a comment below if you want to see me explaining how to build a section with a transition like the one you've seen in this video without using Webflow interactions, without using code, but just a couple of lines of CSS and a smart structure. So, see you next time and remember to always smile at least once a day. Ciao, matane!